MrMegaKim.com, Dell News, and a dude who wants to build a house with a 3D printer, and much more on this week's episode. It's January 25th, I'm Daria Jansen, and this is the Redheaded Geek Show. To start off, you guys know the infamous Kim.com, right? Kim.com? The guy who founded Mega Upload? The guy who almost exactly one year ago was placed into custody in response to US charges of criminal copyright infringement? Well, if you don't, as a refresher, he was accused of costing the entertainment industry $500 million through pirated content on his file sharing site, where at the time he had over 180 million members. One year later, look at him today. He not only launched his new website called Mega, you know, instead of Mega Upload, whatever. It's a cloud storage service that jackpotted over 250,000 members just hours after launching. Even crazier is what the FBI did to push his global fame to the extreme. According to ZDNet, they sent like 76 officers on an anti-terrorist style raid into the man's home, an action that made the New Zealand police look not so good. A court decided their actions amounted to illegal search and seizure. In the mega upload case, Kim.com has managed to turn the assault on his home and business into an endless supply of free publicity. Not too shabby for Mr.com. And by the way, thanks a lot, FBI. Moving on, how about some big Dell news? According to eWeek.com, Dell may be going private. Executives claim they may do this to help their company start growing again and to cope with the competition without the glare of Wall Street analysts and investors. Since he returned to as CEO in 2007, Michael Dell's focus has been to build up the company's enterprise capabilities. In addition to this news, CNBC News says Microsoft has discussed investing between one and three billion to buy out Dell. If successful, it would be one of the largest corporate buyouts since before the global financial crisis. For the last part of our segment, how about some wild and wacky tech news? These are always fun for me. We've been hearing a lot about 3D printing lately, and it is the next big thing, no doubt. This bit is really cool, and I'm not only saying this because I'm partially Dutch and I'm like biased or something, but there's this Dutch architect who wants to use 3D technology to print a futuristic home that apparently has no beginning and no end. Sounds crazy or impossible, but it's actually rad. An article from the New York Daily News says in addition to being constructed using this 3D printed material, the nearly 11,000 square foot home will also be reinforced with concrete and fiberglass. If successful, the large-scale printer will give architects complete control over their work. I hope this helps 3D printing get the recognition it deserves. It is so neat. On to another topic, Atari Incorporated, also known as those rad pioneers in arcade and video games that kept you mashing those buttons like no other, recently filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. According to Bloomberg.com, Atari is seeking independent funding by separating from their unprofitable French parent. The move to separate comes after the French parent company claimed they were strained for cash, especially after reportedly making no profit since 1999. According to this Chapter 11 petition, Atari owes 10 to 50 million to at least 200 creditors and possibly as many as 1,000. They are said to sell all or sustainably all of their assets within the next 90 to 120 days. Some say the name itself will eventually save the company, even if someone else buys it. I don't know about that, but they better continue selling those hipster t-shirts and armbands at a Hot Topic or I'm gonna be sad. 